Hello, today we have Unit 5.5 from Speak Out Pre-Intermediate Students book and it's called Look Back, so it's revision of the Unit 5. The first one is Transport. Choose four types of transport from the box below. Write a sentence about each type. Don't mention the name. So the first one uh, it's given. It travels through water and is very fast. And we have the train, tram, minibus, motorbike, taxi, ferry, speedboard, coach, lorry, and helicopter. So it travels through the water and very fast. It is speedboard. The next one is given as an example here. It's a fast type of transport. It goes on the road. It has two wheels and it's a motorbike. So the next one, let's see. Uh, this is a type of transport that is bigger than a car. It has four wheels and usually carries four, 10 or 15 people. It is minibus. One more, a boat that carries people and goods across a river and channel. It is ferry. Next one, electric car used for public transport, running on rails along public street. It is a tram. The next one, a number of railway coaches or wagons joined together. It is train. Uh, it is a kind of transport uh, that travels long distance, like motorbus. It is a coach. It is long open motor vehicle for carrying goods. So it is lorry. And it can be a kind of flying aircraft able to take off and land in a very small place and remain stationary in the air. It is a helicopter. And the next exercise is past simple and past continuous. Let's revise. Put the verbs in brackets into the past simple or past continuous. And the first is they play when the police come. So one action for the first, it's past continuous. And the other action interrupted. This action is past simple. It's a short action. So they were playing when the police came. Were playing present. Uh, sorry, past continuous. Came past simple. The second question. They ran away one night when it rained. So they ran away one night when it was raining. So, ran is past simple, was raining is past continuous. Then, while they travel by motorbike, they meet many people. While they were traveling by motorbike, they met many people. With while, as you remember, we generally use continuous tense, and here it is past continuous tense. That uh, it is a long action, and met is a short action, past simple. It lose oxygen for several hours before they fix the problem. So it was losing oxygen for several hours before they fixed the problem. Was losing past continuous, fixed, past simple. He was, look, he was working sorry, with the poor when he decided to change career. He was working is past continuous. Stopped is past simple. So, was flying uh, is the long action. They started the first. And in the middle of this action is a short action uh, expressed by past simple. Stopped. The next one, exercise three. Uh, working base, take turn, ask and answer the question. Where were you and what were you doing at these times yesterday? So, at 6 o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping. So, at 8 o'clock in the morning, as I was uh, doing my housework. At 10 o'clock in the morning, I was going to work. At 13 o'clock in the afternoon, I was working. 
At 16 o'clock, I was writing an email. At 19 o'clock, I was cooking. At 22 o'clock, I was watching TV. So all these actions are in past continuous. Next one, travel items. Add the vowels. So we have some consonants, but we don't have vowels. So the first one is suitcase. The second one is rucksack. The third one is waterproof clothes. The fourth, walking boots. After sun hat. Number six is souvenirs. Number seven is binoculars. Number eight is notebook. Number nine is digital camera. And number ten is money belt. So all these items are useful for traveling. So, work in peace, decide which of the items above are important for the holidays below. So, a sun hat is important for a beach holiday. For example, we can say that digital camera is important for, uh, for example, beach holiday also. Uh, walking boots are important for walking, traveling, sightseeing. Uh, we can say that uh, digital camera or uh, what else? Uh, digital camera or money belt is important for sight, are important uh, items for sightseeing. Adventure. For adventure, for example, rucksack or waterproof clothes are important for adventure traveling. The next verb patterns. Complete the sentence with the correct form of the words in bracket. So let's do it. Uh, I sometimes choose go somewhere on holiday because a friend recommends me. So we will open the brackets and write I sometimes choose to go somewhere on holiday because a friend recommends me. I hope visit more cities in my own country this year. I hope to visit more cities in my own country this year. I seem have good luck with the weather where I go on holiday, it never rains. I seem to have good luck with the weather when I go on holiday, it needs never rains. I won't travel to places where tourists never go. I want to travel to places where tourists never go. I always avoid travel by boat because I get sick. I always avoid traveling by boat because I get sick. I don't enjoy fly very much. I don't enjoy flying very much. I can't imagine go on a camping holiday. I prefer hotels. I can't imagine going on a camping holiday. I prefer hotels. I wouldn't like have a holiday with a big group of people. I wouldn't like to have a holiday with a big group of people. So here we add to go, the second one to visit, the third one to have, the fourth one to travel, number five traveling, number six flying, number seven going, number eight to have. The next is asking for and giving direction. Find and correct the mistake. There are two mistakes in each conversation. Conversation one. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Natural History Museum. Is this right way? So, excuse me, I am looking for the Natural History Museum. Is this the right way? So, we add definite article here. Keep going until you reach the crossroad. It's in the right so here we should change in the right to the word on the right the next one conversation two hello we want to go to the italian embassy is far no just turn left and you will see the sign for it you can't miss so the first one hello we want to go to the italian embassy it's correct 
is it far? We should add it here. No, just turn left and you will see the sign. You will see the sign of it, not for, but of. You cannot miss it. So we should add it here. Okay, uh, then conversation number three. Excuse me, do you know where the university is? Keep going along the main road, then you will see a sign and it's in front to you. So the first one, excuse me, do you know where the university is? Uh, keep going, not long, but along the main road, then you will see a sign and it's in front of you. So not to you. So let's repeat the first conversation. We will change here. The uh, mistake is, is this the right way? We add there. Okay, it is on the right, on. In the second conversation, is it far? We will add it. In the second conversation, you cannot miss it. We will add it here. In the third conversation, not long but along and in front of you. So uh, the revision of the lesson 5 is over. We have already done all the exercises from the unit 5.5. Uh, thanks for attention. See you next time.